Hi everyone, thanks for watching. In this video, I'll show you how to balance chemical equations. Remember from the last video that an equation can be more accurate by adding coefficients so that it is balanced. Like here, if I had a coefficient of 2 in front of mg, meaning there are two magnesium atoms, then I would also need a coefficient of 2 in front of the MgO to have those same two magnesium atoms on the other side. Now there's the exact same amount of atoms on each side of the equation and it is balanced. The only thing we did not say in the last video is how do you know what coefficients to use? So let's take a look at a couple examples of exactly how to balance. The first thing we're going to do when we're balancing is start with the first element on the left and count the quantities of that element on each side. In this reaction, my first element is sodium, and on the reactant side, there's only one sodium, so I'm going to write one beneath that symbol to keep track. On the product side, I find the same element symbol, Na. In this case, it says Na2, meaning there are two sodium atoms. If you have to balance them, which in this case we do, we're going to add a whole number coefficient to balance that element. If I've got two Na's in the product side, I also need two on the reactants, so a coefficient of two doubles the amount of sodiums here from 1 to 2, balancing that element. And that's pretty much the whole process. The only thing to do now is move on to the next element and repeat. My next element in this equation is oxygen. O2 means there's two oxygens, so I'll put a 2. Over here, there's only one oxygen, so they are not balanced. I need to make the product side have two oxygens. A coefficient of 2 will double everything in this entire formula. So now there's not two sodiums, there's twice as many four. And there's not one oxygen, there's twice as many two. Now my oxygens are balanced, but this does present a problem. My sodiums have changed to four, which means this two no longer applies. Sometimes when you balance, you have to go back and forth and maybe erase or cross off some things you thought you were gonna add in. This two now has to be changed to a coefficient of four, so that the amount of sodiums remain balanced. The final coefficient list for this reaction is 4, 1, 2. Let's see that again with a different equation. Here my first element is aluminum, and there's only 1. Finding aluminum on the products, I see that there's 2. To make those numbers balanced, I'll put a coefficient of 2. So now there's 2 aluminums on each side. My second element is oxygen, and there's 2, so I'll put a 2. On the product side, there are three oxygens. This is a common scenario where there's two on one side and three on the other. To fix that, we're gonna multiply those up to six by putting a three in front of O2. So three times two gives me six oxygens. And if I put a two here, two times three gives me the same number, six oxygens on the right. This two though, remember, also doubles the aluminum from two up to four. So the original coefficient of 2 I put in front of the Al, and the reactants doesn't apply. I have to change that to a 4, so everything stays balanced. The final coefficient list is 4, 3, 2. And let's see one final example. Here my first symbol is N for nitrogen, but be careful because sometimes you'll see something like this happen. There is a nitrogen here, but there's also a nitrogen here. So even though it looks like there's, there's one N, there's actually two and you have to keep track of all the ends on the entire side of their reaction. On the product side here's the only nitrogen symbol and there's also two so my ends are actually balanced. The next element is hydrogen and I see that there's four of those. On the product side here's hydrogen but there's only two so if I put a coefficient of two to double that to a four now my H's are balanced as well. Changing colors for my oxygens just so we don't lose track on the reactant side, I have three oxygens. And on the products, we run into a similar issue as we did with the nitrogen. There's one oxygen here, but there's also two oxygens here. Two because that coefficient of two doubles the amount of O's. So remember, we've got to get the total of that atom on the entire side. One plus two is three oxygens. So I have three oxygens in the products and also three in the reactants which means all of the elements are balanced. The final coefficient list is 1, 1, 2. And that concludes this video. Thanks for watching.